What's going on guys? It's Jeremy Hopper here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Sanyo Eneloop AA battery adapters. These will allow you to transform a standard AA battery into a size D or a size C. So let's take a closer look at this. Now the way in which these adapters work are very, very simple and they're very, very similar to one another even though these two look quite different. This is the C, this, this is the D. So on the C cell, we have three plastic uh, spring-loaded style tensioners. They're going to put tension on the AA battery when it's inserted. And you can see that there are three stabilizing fins, if you will, that run down the interior diameter of this uh, adapter. So when the AA battery is inserted, those uh, three stabilizers keep the AA battery centered. And you can see the positive terminal of the AA battery protruding from the other side. Those three plastic uh, tensioners are putting tension on that AA battery to keep it in place so it doesn't fall out, although it does slip in and out effortlessly. The D adapter functions practically the same way as the C adapter, although the uh, construction of this is slightly different. But you can see the presence of the four stabilizing uh, fins in here that will keep the AA battery centered and you can see down inside the four uh, plastic uh, locking tabs that will lock onto the AA battery but on the opposite side you'll see that this actually has a positive terminal built into it that will protrude when we put the AA battery in. So as we put the AA battery in you'll hear an audible click positive terminal is protruding. In order to get your AA battery out, yeah, you can try to reach in there and pull it out, but you can also just press that positive terminal, AA battery protrudes, easy withdrawal. I'm going to show you guys how easy this is. I have a battery powered lantern here. This is designed to run off of four uh, D cells. I've already removed the bottom to it. I have my AA batteries inside of the adapters. So I'm going to put them in here, just like I would a standard group of D-cells. I'm going to screw that top on, or the bottom to it. Turn it on, and you can see that works. All the modes, all the functions to it. Now I wanted to show you guys one issue that did result from using these uh, AA to D adapters and that was with this Coleman 4D 6 volt battery pack. Uh, this is a battery pack system that's utilized in quite a few of their lanterns and you may encounter this, pro this uh, problem with a host of different other products depending upon how the product is set up or how that appliance is set up and the issue that resulted was the fact that the negative terminal inside of this battery pack housing cannot contact the negative terminal on that AA battery and that's just due to the design configuration of this so an easy way or to get around that and this may work for you depending upon what your situation is with whatever appliance you're using if you have this type of an issue so I've taken dimes, you can use any coin that you want really, I just utilized a dime, or dimes I should say, put them on the negative terminals, locked up the battery pack. So I'm going to take that battery pack, put it into the lantern, lock it into place. You can see it works on high, off, low. So that works. So depending upon what product or appliance that you're using, your, uh, your battery adapters in, you may have to rig up something like this. It just depends. This is a system that I've been using for quite a few years now, and I'm very, very happy with it. It has greatly simplified the logistics in my home of buying batteries, whether it's for daily use or for emergency preparedness, whatever the case may be. 
Um, these adapters greatly simplify the logistics by the sense that I don't have to buy C batteries, I don't have to buy D batteries, I just have to buy double A's and I get three different options of appliances that I can run off of them. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So long.